Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. One thing I uh, forgot to mention about those uh, those special pieces of equipment that you can use in, as an item in battle, um, only that character can use them, uh, unlike future versions in the game where you share a pool of items that anyone can use. So only the White Mage is going to be able to use the Zeus Gauntlets and the Heal Staff for now, so just remember to keep that in mind. So... Let's continue on and find our proof of courage. Useless. All right, the ice sword. Give that to the fighter. You see that? Forty-four eighty-one. Yeah, that's a good upgrade. <laughs> so now we got two ice swords. All right. And the gold bracelet. Want to give that to the red mage since he's in the second position there. Okay, let's continue down then. Okay, let's keep going. Some gold. Some more gold. A house, and I think this one's empty. Yeah, it's a duplicate chest, so let's go on to the right, then. That better have my proof of courage. A tail? I came all this way to get a freaking tail? You're kidding me. Technically speaking, it's a rat's tail, but whatever. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Whoa! Oh, it's a zombie dragon. I'm okay. Yeah, he's uh, basically a powerful undead monster. Uh, I wouldn't even bother using fire or harm. Just physical attacks are good. Eh, heal staff, why not? We need it. Yeah, pretty lucky here. Uh, you can run into uh, some large groups of zombie dragons. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, well we made it, so now we gotta take the tail back to Bahamut. So uh, I'm gonna head back to my ship, and uh, I'll meet you back at the airship. Okay, we're back. Let's. Uh, Head to Bahamut's cave. Now, if I can remember which one it is. There it is. Yay! Now you get to watch me walk down this long hallway for no apparent reason. But it'll be worth it. Once we get to the end. About as good of an upgrade as you can get in the game. It'll basically make the rest of the game easy. It doesn't matter what classes you have at this point. The tail of a rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor due true warriors. Congratulations! Now, we are... Adults, we got some cool looking sprites there. Let's check it out. Fighter becomes a knight. Uh, he's now capable of equipping uh, more weapons and armor, as well as some, he can learn some useless white magic spells uh, from level one through three. Um, well, it doesn't show it yet, but as you gain levels, you'll start getting some spell charges there. Um, really, I wouldn't bother. I mean, he can only get up to four of each of them, and they're not really that helpful, I don't think, so. I wouldn't bother. The uh, thief, if you have one, uh, can also become a ninja. He, he receives the greatest upgrade from his previous class. Uh, now he can equip almost as much as equipment as a knight, uh, as well as he can learn some valuable level one through four black magic. Uh, I'd recommend learning fire two, lightning two, ice two, and fast, uh, which can all be purchased at Elfland. Uh, you should also purchase the silver helmet for him back at uh, Crescent Lake. 
and uh, equip him with the old flame armor and ice shield as I told you to hold on to. Now the, uh, the black belt becomes a master, which really doesn't do anything. Uh, it, I think it affects, well I know, it affects his magic defense growth, uh, which is a hidden stat, but uh, that's about it. I really don't, uh, I mean it doesn't affect his damage or his hit percentage growth, so you know, not really much of an upgrade for him. The red mage becomes a red wizard. Uh, it doesn't help his equipment that much, but it does allow him to learn some new spells. Uh, now you can learn life for him back at Melmond, and also you can learn Lightning 3, which will be useful very shortly. Uh, the white mage uh, becomes a white wizard, which allows him to learn higher level spells. Uh, specifically, he can also now learn Exit at Crescent Lake. Uh, the black mage becomes a black wizard, which allows him to learn some of those higher level spells. Uh, he can also learn warp back at Melman if you care. So uh, now I'm just going to go around back to the towns, uh, learn those magic spells, and um, I'll be at Crescent Lake. Well, I'll be at Canaria by the time I'm done. So I'll go there to rest up at the inn, restock on heal potions, uh, soft potions at Elfland if you need to, uh, the works, sell your excess equipment, and I will meet you back at Canaria. Okay, let's head to the rest of the world. Now we got the airship, we got our adult classes, we're ready to go. Let's head north. The Northern Hemisphere is about the only place we can go now. So let's see, this looks like a good place to check out first. Now be careful, because we're in the Northern Hemisphere of the world, so we can run into some fairly tough enemies in the rivers, so let's check it out. Or I could just run into some old enemies. Well, maybe I'll show you some tougher enemies later. Alright. There's the item shop here. It's the only other town in the game that sells soft potions, so you may want to keep that in mind. I guess you do have nice legs. That's very nice. Thanks for sharing. Oxyale. What is that, some kind of alcoholic beverage? I don't know. I don't drink alcohol myself. I don't know. Let's see, 200 years ago, mermaids, and then it sank. Oh, the mermaids died. How sad. Underhill, the caravan master, had something very strange. Well, maybe I'll find him someday. Yeah. Cope says he found, found a shining object. Okay. And, yep, that's wonderful. Okay, now we got the level 7 magic shops here. So, uh, I'll go over what we got there, since we'll have the spell charges soon. See, black magic shop, uh, saber, I think is bugged, and blind, I think is also bugged, too. So, uh, don't get them. They're useless. Even if they weren't bugged, they'd still be useless. So don't get them. Okay, now for the white mage, you want to get heal three. Because, well, that's useful. Uh, the anti-rub spell, um, well, protects you against rub, like instant death attacks. But we won't need them, because we're going to get something else in the near future that'll take care of that for us. So let's uh, pass on that for now. Her father runs a caravan, close out sale in the oasis in the western desert. Okay, well, now we know where the caravan is. We'll check that out eventually. Let's see what else is here. See the treasures and a cryptic stone plate in the sunken shrine. Okay. Oh, the brother of Dr. Oon from Melman. He translated the language of the Sky Warriors, but he needs a slab, which is a kind of stone plate, I think. So, maybe we'll find that in the Sunken Shrine. Who knows? Oh, one of the dragons was here. Oh, well, there you go. I think if you come here when you're not in your adult classes, he says something else, like, you gotta see Bahamut, or something like that. Saw so, a shiny object to the north. Okay. Well, we'll check that out eventually. And we need some alcohol to go into the submarine. Okay. Come on, get up there. I'm running out of time. 
Move! There we go. I came all this way to get earn that. Wonderful. Well, I guess we're going after the Fiend of Water now, so um, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. We're out of time, so next time I will go to the town of Gaia and find out where I need to go from there. So this is HC Bailey signing off. Have a good day.